Welcome to CoinMan. If you love coins with a history, design quirks, or surprising market value, you're in the right place. In this video, we'll deep dive into the value, design, history, and market trends of these nine quarters minted over several decades. From the 1983D quarter, with a hidden premium to the 1998 quarter, with rare errors, we'll look at how these coins have captured the attention of collectors. Stay tuned as I walk you through the prices these coins command at auction and how minting mistakes can turn these seemingly ordinary quarters into gold mines. The 1998 USA quarter dollar holds significant interest among collectors due to its status as one of the final quarters featuring the traditional eagle reverse before the introduction of the state quarters program in 1990-99. It represents a transitional year in American coinage, with many collectors seeking coins from this era as part of their collections. The design, created by John Flanagan, features the bust of George Washington on the obverse. This portrait first appeared in 1932, marking the 200th anniversary of Washington's birth and became a staple of U.S. coinage. On the reverse, the eagle is depicted with outstretched wings, clutching arrows in its talons, symbolizing the strength and vigilance of the nation. While the design was common for decades, the end of its use after 1998 gives this coin added appeal. The production of the 1998 quarter took place at both the Philadelphia and Denver mints, with over 1.4 billion quarters minted that year. Despite the large number produced, many of these coins entered circulation quickly and saw heavy use. This makes finding high-quality uncirculated coins from this year a challenge. Circulated coins are abundant, but coins graded MS67 or higher are scarce, which boosts their value. Coins in mint state condition with excellent luster and sharp details are particularly sought after by collectors. Given the high volume of coins produced during the 1990s and varying minting standards, finding an example without defects is quite rare, adding to the demand for pristine pieces from this year. Beyond condition, the 1998 quarter is known for a range of interesting mint errors. Errors in coinage can significantly enhance value, especially when the mistakes are clear and unusual. Off-center strikes are a popular error type for this quarter, with some examples struck off-center by more than 15% fetching between $100 and $500 at auction. Clipped planchet errors, where part of the coin's edge is missing due to a production mishap, can also bring values between $200 and $300, depending on the severity of the clip. Coins mistakenly struck on nickel planchets are extremely rare, with auction prices sometimes exceeding $1,000. Another error that increases the value of the 1998 quarter is a double-die reverse DDR, where parts of the eagle are duplicated due to a misalignment during the minting process. Coins with clear doubling on the feathers or talons have sold for more than $1,000 in auctions. Even regular 1998 quarters without errors can fetch impressive prices if they are in top mint state. A coin graded MS68 sold for around $600 in a 2021 auction showing that condition alone can dramatically raise the value. If you come across a 1998 quarter in pocket change, inspect it closely. While circulated coins hold only face value, those in mint state or with errors could be worth hundreds. This coin is a prime example of how seemingly ordinary quarters can become highly valuable with just a little knowledge and luck. 2. 1985p quarter dollar the 1985p Washington Quarter is often overlooked, but collectors are beginning to recognize its hidden value, especially in high-grade conditions. Minted at the Philadelphia Mint, this quarter was part of the regular issue during a time when U.S. mints were producing millions of coins annually. However, the quality of production in the 1980s was inconsistent, leading to weak strikes and worn dyes that reduced the clarity of many coins. This makes it particularly challenging to find 1985p quarters with sharp details, especially on Washington's hair and the eagle's feathers. A typical 1985p quarter in circulated condition is worth no more than face value, but finding one in mint state is a different story. In grades like MS65 and above, these coins can command significant premiums because of their scarcity. A well-preserved example graded MS67 can sell for up to $300 at auction, primarily because the majority of the quarters from this year suffer from poor strikes and surface wear. This makes high-grade coins especially valuable to collectors seeking to complete their Washington quarter collection. The real excitement around the 1985p quarter, however, lies in its errors. 
One of the most notable errors is the off-center strike, where the design is shifted away from the center of the coin. These off-center errors range in value from $100 to $500, depending on the degree of misalignment. Another rare error is the double die obverse DDO, where Washington's profile or the date shows signs of doubling. Coins with this error can sell for more than $700 if the doubling is pronounced. Another factor contributing to the value of this quarter is its growing scarcity in high grades. With millions of coins released into circulation, finding an uncirculated example becomes harder each year. Auctions in recent years have seen increased interest in 1985 P quarters in top condition, with some fetching up to $800. This trend suggests that demand for high-quality coins from the 1980s is on the rise as more collectors recognize their historical significance and market value. If you have a 1985 P quarter, it's worth checking its condition. Coins with minimal wear and strong details can be worth a lot more than their face value, and error coins in particular are a treasure worth seeking out. With growing demand and limited supply of high-grade examples, this coin is a sleeper hit among collectors and could continue to increase in value over time. 3. 1982 P Quarter Dollar The 1982 P Washington Quarter is another intriguing coin from the 1980s. Minted in Philadelphia, this coin is unique because 1982 was one of the years when the U.S. Mint decided not to produce official mint sets. As a result, Finding uncirculated examples from this year is extremely difficult and collectors must rely on coins that manage to stay out of circulation. This scarcity in high-grade mint state conditions makes 1982 P quarters highly desirable. Adding to the challenge, many of the quarters produced during this period exhibit weak strikes. This means the finer details such as Washington's hair and the eagle's feathers are often poorly defined, even on coins that appear uncirculated. This further elevates the value of well-struck examples with strong luster. A 1982 P quarter graded MS67 can sell for as much as $500, and those with rare errors can bring in even higher prices. The absence of official mint sets in 1982 has also made this coin a prime target for collectors seeking high-quality examples. Coins that display off center strikes or double die obverses are especially valuable with auction prices frequently exceeding $1,000 for well-preserved error coins. In recent years, demand for 1982 P quarters has increased as collectors try to complete their sets of Washington quarters from this challenging period. Because of the difficulties in finding high-grade examples and the potential for valuable errors, the 1982 P quarter has become one of the more sought-after coins from the 1980s. Whether you are a seasoned collector or just getting started, it's worth examining any 1982 quarters you come across. Even without errors, coins in mint state can command impressive prices and error coins are a true collector's prize. 4. 1983 D Quarter Dollar The 1983 D Washington Quarter, minted in Denver, is part of a series that many collectors find particularly interesting due to its historical context and the challenges faced during its minting. By this time, the U.S., Mint had settled into a more modern production process, but quality control issues still persisted. This quarter is notable not just for its design but also for the nuances in its production quality, which can significantly affect its value. The obverse of the 1983D quarter features the familiar portrait of George Washington, while the reverse displays the iconic eagle. However, many of these coins were struck with less than ideal pressure leading to weak strikes and poor detail retention, especially in areas like Washington's hair and the eagle's feathers. Because of this, finding a well-defined 1983D quarter is a rewarding experience for collectors. A quarter graded in mint state, particularly MS67 or higher, can sell for upwards of $300, showcasing the demand for high-quality examples from this year. In addition to the typical conditions, the 1983D quarter has become notable for various mint errors that have surfaced. One of the more intriguing types of errors found in this coin is the off-center strike. Off-center quarters often fetch between $100 to $400 depending on the severity of the error. Moreover, the 1983D quarter has yielded a few double die obverse examples, where details on Washington's portrait are noticeably duplicated. These double die quarters can achieve auction prices exceeding $1,000 when the doubling is clear and prominent. The market for the 1983D quarter is growing as more collectors are recognizing the coin's potential value, 
particularly in the context of historical minting practices during the early 1980s. Its place in the broader landscape of U.S. Coins makes it an attractive target for those looking to build a comprehensive collection. If you encounter a 1983D quarter, examine it closely for both its condition and the possibility of errors. Even coins in very fine condition can hold value above face, especially if you manage to find an example that showcases strong details and striking clarity. 5. 1980D Quarter Dollar The 1980D Washington Quarter is another piece that merits attention for its collectible value and historical significance. Minted at the Denver Mint, this quarter was produced during a period of change in U.S. For coinage, as the country was grappling with inflation and economic uncertainty, the design features George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse, consistent with the iconic portrayal established in earlier years. In terms of production, the 1980D quarter had a significant mintage of over 547 million coins, meaning there are plenty of circulated examples available. However, the abundance of these coins does not detract from the fact that high-quality, uncirculated examples are sought after. Quarters graded at MS65 or higher can fetch values around $50 to $200, depending on their visual appeal. For those graded MS67 or higher, the price can skyrocket to as much as $500 or more, reflecting the rarity of such pristine examples. Among the various errors associated with the 1980D quarter, the most common are the off-center strikes, which can be worth between $100 and $400. Additionally, double die obverse errors have been reported, where parts of Washington's portrait appear doubled. High-quality examples of these errors can reach auction prices exceeding $1,000. The 1980D quarter holds a unique spot in the landscape of U.S. coinage. Given its relatively high mintage, many collectors initially overlooked it. However, as interest in quality coins has grown, the 1980D quarter is beginning to gain recognition. Its historical context, combined with the potential for errors and high-grade specimens, makes it an intriguing piece for any collector. Keep an eye out for this quarter, especially in uncirculated condition, as it may surprise you with its value. 6. 1991D Quarter Dollar The 1991D Washington Quarter is often overshadowed by other years and designs, but it possesses unique characteristics that make it an interesting addition to any collection. Minted in Denver this quarter is part of a series that has seen its share of challenges, including issues with production quality. The design features George Washington on the obverse and the eagle on the reverse, a familiar sight for any coin collector. During 1991, the U.S. Mint produced a total of over 800 million quarters. While this significant mintage suggests a readily available coin, many of these quarters circulated heavily, leading to wear and diminished detail. Finding high-quality uncirculated examples can be quite rewarding. Coins graded MS67 or higher can command prices between $75 and $250, making them valuable additions to any collection. Another exciting aspect of the 1991D quarter is the variety of mint errors that collectors have found. Off-center strikes are common and can range in value from $100 to $500, depending on how off-center the strike is. Moreover, the 1991D quarter is also known for its potential double-die obverse varieties, where the details of Washington's image are doubled. These coins can reach auction prices of $1,000 or more, particularly if the doubling is prominent and noticeable. As the years have gone by, interest in the 1991D quarter has increased among collectors, especially those looking to complete Washington quarter collections. Its place in U.S. Coinage history along with the potential for valuable errors, makes it an attractive piece. If you come across a 1991D quarter, take the time to examine it closely for both condition and any potential errors. You might just find a hidden gem that can significantly enhance your collection's value. 7. 1969 Quarter Dollar The 1969 Washington Quarter is a unique piece of American coinage noteworthy for its historical context and its status as part of the classic design that collectors cherish. Minted during a time of economic turmoil in the United States, this quarter reflects the challenges of the late 1960s, including inflation and changes in production techniques. The design features George Washington on the obverse and an eagle on the reverse, both of which have become iconic representations of American currency. 
1969, over 547 million quarters were minted at both the Philadelphia and Denver mints, which means that while circulated examples are abundant, high-grade, uncirculated specimens are relatively scarce. Collectors prize coins graded MS-65 and above, with values typically ranging from $50 to $150. Those graded MS-67 or higher can fetch between $300 to $800 depending on their visual appeal and surface quality. The demand for high-quality examples is particularly strong as collectors seek to complete sets of Washington quarters. What makes the 1969 quarter particularly interesting are the various errors that have been reported. The most common of these is the off-center strike, which can sell for $100 to $500 based on the extent of the misalignment. Additionally, some 1969 quarters exhibit double die obverses, where Washington's profile shows a doubling effect. These error coins can be quite valuable, with auction prices for high-quality examples reaching $1,000 or more. In recent years, interest in the 1969 quarter has grown as collectors have recognized its significance and potential for value appreciation. The unique blend of historical context and the potential for error coins make it a compelling target for both new and seasoned collectors alike. If you encounter a 1969 quarter, particularly in uncirculated condition or with noticeable errors, consider holding onto it, as it could be a valuable addition to your collection. 8. 1988p quarter dollar the 1988p Washington Quarter, minted in Philadelphia, is part of a series that appeals to collectors due to its classic design and historical significance. The year 1988 was a pivotal time in American history, and this quarter reflects the characteristics of its era. The obverse displays the familiar image of George Washington, while the reverse features an eagle, continuing the long-standing tradition of American coin design. With a mintage of over 586 million coins, the 1988p quarter is relatively easy to find in circulated condition. However, collectors are always on the lookout for high-quality, uncirculated examples. Those graded at MS-65 can typically sell for $50 to $150, while coins graded MS-67 or higher have been known to fetch between $300 and $600 at auction. The rarity of well-preserved specimens makes them particularly attractive to, collective, to collectors. Beyond its regular production, the 1988p quarter has also been associated with a number of mint errors that can increase its value significantly. Off-center strikes are among the most common errors and they can range in value from $100 to $500 depending on how far off-center the strike is. Another notable error type for this quarter is the double die obverse, where Washington's portrait shows doubling in specific areas. Well-preserved double die examples can command prices exceeding $1,000 making them highly sought after in the collector market. The growing interest in the 1988p quarter can be attributed to collectors seeking to complete their Washington quarter collections or simply looking for high-quality coins from the 1980s. As the years progress, the 1988p quarter may become increasingly desirable, particularly in higher grades or with notable errors. If you happen to find a 1988p quarter in your change, take the time to inspect it closely as it may turn out to be a valuable addition to your collection. 9. 1986p Quarter Dollar The 1986p Washington Quarter is a remarkable coin from a year that marked significant events in U.S. history. Minted in Philadelphia, this quarter reflects the economic climate of the mid-1980s, a period characterized by a steady recovery from earlier economic struggles. The design showcases George Washington on the obverse, with the reverse featuring the iconic eagle. With a production of over 608 million coins, the 1986p quarter is commonly found in circulation, but collectors are particularly interested in high-grade, uncirculated examples. Those graded MS-65 typically hold values in the range of $40 to $100, while those at MS-67 or higher can see prices climbing up to $250 to $500. The demand for pristine quarters from this era is indicative of a growing appreciation for the series among collectors. This quarter has also been associated with a variety of mint errors, making it an appealing target for error coin enthusiasts. Off-center strikes, one of the more common varieties, can range from $100 to $400 depending on the severity of the error. Additionally, double-die obverse varieties have been reported, showcasing noticeable doubling in Washington's portrait. 
High-quality examples of these errors can fetch auction prices of $1,000 or more, depending on their clarity and appeal. As time passes, the 1986p quarter is beginning to garner more attention from both novice and seasoned collectors. Its combination of historical relevance, production challenges, and potential for errors make it a compelling option for anyone looking to expand their collection. If you come across a 1986p quarter, take a moment to examine it closely for signs of where or mint errors you might find a treasure that adds significant value to your coin collection.